All right, so the draw for Canada has just come out, and unfortunately, because of the Olympics, a lot of big names are not going to be playing in this event next week, but there are some big names playing. First, we'll go through the withdrawal list, and then we'll get to the top of the draw. So we've got a massive withdrawal list for the ladies' event, starting with Alex and Trova, She's pulled out. Kostea, Collins, and Garcia have also all pulled out. Krajikov is also pulled out, with Kudamatova and Mukova also pulling out. Nozkova, she's not going to play. Pellini's also pulled out of the event, of course, just winning the gold medal for Italy in the doubles. Rabakina, she's also not going to play, which is a big shame because Rabakina, of course, didn't play the Olympics either. So a lot of these players are not playing because they just played the Olympics, but Rabakina, she hasn't played for a while. Zachary's also pulled out. Siniakova, Sviontek, of course, pulling out. Vekic as well, both of them because of the Olympics. Wondrusov is also pulled out with injury. Wong and Zhang have also pulled out. So a massive withdrawal is for this event. And I mean, most of those are because of the Olympics. We should have known that that was going to be the case, I guess. But man, this event is really missing some star power. All right, top of the draw, we've got 16 seeds in this one. Top eight seeds get a bye in the first round, starting with Goff. She gets a bye in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Sophia Kennan in the second round. So that's going to be a fire second round if it is Kennan versus Goff. Uh, then you've got Potter Popa taking on Freya. Winner will take on the number 14 seed Schneider in the second round. Then you've got the number nine seed Jabir taking on Os Osaka. That is a crazy first round match. A winner of that match will take on either Mertens or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Tomoba. Winner of that will take on the number six seed Samsonova in the second round. So this is an interesting little section. You know, some really tough first rounds. And there's some really interesting second rounds potentially. And you've obviously got to watch out for Goff. You've got to watch out for Jabir as well. Also watch out for Samsonova, of course. She did play well in America last year at this stage. Also watch out for Schneider. She's been really, really good lately on the courts, just on every court pretty much. But also watch out for Kennan and also watch out for Naomi Osaka. That first round between her and, and Jabir is going to be fire. Next section of the draw, we've got the number three seed Pagula. Gets by in the first round. She'll take on either Podoroska or Pliskova in the second round. Then you've got a qualified taking on Cochiaretto. Winner of that will take on either Zong or the number 15 seed Fernandez in the second round. Then you got the number 12 seed Azarenka. She takes on Pavlyuchenkova. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Stevens in the second round. Then you got Blinkova taking on Stearns. Winner of that match will take on the number seven seed Madison Keys in the second round. So a little bit more open part of the draw, you could say. The seeds are probably the big ones here. I mean, there are a few unseeded players there to watch out for, but mostly the seeds. You've got to watch out for Pagouli. You've got to watch out for Keys, of course. I also got to watch out for Fernandez, of course, being playing in Canada. She'll be fired up playing in front of the home crowd. Also, as a ranker, got to watch over her on the uh, on the hard courts as well. But I'd also watch out for Pliskova, because, of course, Pliskova has had form in America over her career. In fact, she made a US Open final back in the day. So definitely got to watch out for her as well going into this draw. And this part of the draw will take on the Goff section in the semifinals. So we could be getting Goff versus Pagula if we want to go by the big seeds, or maybe Goff versus Keys. If you want to go with something a little different, maybe we'll go with Goff taking on Fernandez. If you want to uh, think that's going to happen. Or if you don't think Goff's going to get there, maybe you want to go with someone else. Maybe Pagula taking on Jabir in a semifinal. Maybe Pagula taking on Samson Oba in the semifinals. Or maybe if you want to go something a little bit crazier, maybe someone like uh, Pagula versus Osaka. If Osaka can come good and get through that tough draw. But it's going to be interesting, this section of the draw, and see who makes it through. Okay, next section of the draw, we've got the number eight seed, Navarro, gets a bye in the first round. And she will take on the winner of Lynette or Marino, who are playing in the first round. Then you've got Rogers taking on Svetolina. Winner of that will take on either Maria or the number 11 seed, Kostyuk, in the second round. Uh, then you've got the number 16 seed, Jastremska, playing Putin Seva. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Stokusic in the second round. Then you've got Bedosa taking on Towson. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. This section's really interesting because there's some players there that aren't seen are very dangerous, very dangerous unseeded players who are in form, especially this week on the hard courts. Uh, and then you've got some seeds that need some form. So you got to watch out for Panko, who didn't play great at the Olympics. Got to watch out for Navarro as well. She's had a pretty good season so far. Be interesting to see her back on the hard courts. But you got to watch out for Bedosa, who just made a final in Washington. And also watch out for Svetolina as well, who is very capable on the North American hard courts. But this section of the draw feels a little bit more open than maybe the other two sections. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number five seed, Kazakina. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Dolahide or Adnissimova in the second round. Uh, then you've got Andrescu taking on Sharenko. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number 10 seed Kalinskaya in the second round. Then you've got the 13 seed Adajmaya taking on Buzkova. Winner of that will take on either Kalanina or Balter in the second round. Then you've got Buxha taking on Yuan. Winner of that will take on the number 2 seed Sabalenka in the second round. Interesting draw. Tough matches for some. Very tough matches for some, but it's gonna... This is, again, another little interesting section, of course. you got to watch out for Sabalenka in this section. She really is trying to get hardcore tennis under her belt while everybody, mostly everybody's playing the Olympics. Of course, she didn't play the Olympics 
picks this year. She chose not to. Uh, you got to also watch out for Kazakina. Also, Kalinskaya. Very, very dangerous. We know what she can do. Almost won Dubai at the start of the year on the hard court. So, go, uh, got to watch out for her. But I'd also watch out for Andrescu. Of course, being at home, she's won this tournament before. Uh, got to watch out for her as an unseated player. Very dangerous unseated player. And of course, this section of the draw will take on that Ostapenko section. So, we could be getting Sabalenka Ostapenko in a semi final. We could be getting Sabalenka versus Navarro in a semi final, which might be more realistic because Penko can be a bit wild. Maybe we get Sabalenka versus Bedosa. If you want to go with something a little bit different, if you don't think Sabalenka is going to get there, maybe you want to go with Ostapenko taking on Kalinskaya in the semis. Or maybe Ostapenko taking on Kazakina. Or maybe you want to go with Navarro taking on Kazakina or Navarro taking on Kalinskaya. If those are the matches you think are going to happen. But that is the draw. And that is what we're going to get in Canada over the next few weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who's going to win Canada? It feels random because no one's got hard court form really. Everyone played the Olympics for the most part. And the ones that didn't, you know, some of them lost last week. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out in, in Canada for the ladies. They're playing in Toronto. So we're going to be watching next week or so to see who can getting ready for the US Open Series.